In the 18th century, slaves from West Africa migrated to Brazil in an attempt to find freedom. They were mostly Muslim and came from regions in Africa that widely practice Islam. So much so that the northern and western states of Africa had established Islamic empires. Muslim Africans were referred to as Mali, meaning a teacher, to signify their wealth of knowledge. The scholars used their education rooted in Islam to find their way to freedom. They started by spreading Islam in the country. The Mali educators found their Brazilian empire forcefully converting the African slaves to Catholicism. Angry at their rebellious behavior, they started a revolt and waged jihad against the rebels in the holy month of Ramadan. The Mali people successfully liberated many African slaves and ultimately led to the abolition of slavery in the region. By the early 1900s, Muslim Africans declined in number, which decreased the representation of Islam in Brazil. But then, war broke out in many regions within the Middle East, including Lebanon and Syria. Arab refugees flooded into Brazil, and the migrants were predominantly Muslim. They established business centers, started trading, and participated in the country's most profitable sectors. Today, there are officially 204,000 Muslims recorded in Brazil. Most Brazilian Muslims are concentrated in the states of Sao Paulo, Parana, Rio Grande do Sul, and Rio de Janeiro. They make up the largest Muslim community in the Latin America. Some say the figure dialed down to blanket the practice of Islam in the country and label the religion as a minority. Muslims are shockingly termed as other, which not only degrades the faith, it pushes them further into a minority status. The desire to keep Brazil within its Catholic traditions still dominates Brazilian culture. However, no matter how small in Brazil, Brazilian Muslims have influenced the economy and left a mark on every possible sector of education. In the past 30 years, Brazilian Muslims have built over 150 mosques around the country, established libraries to spread the knowledge of Islam, constructed art centers to showcase the history of Islam, funded newspapers, and headed schools to educate the youth. Brazil is actually the world's biggest exporter and producer of halal meats, including beef and chicken. The profit totaled a combined $4.7 billion in the last year. Habib's restaurant is owned by Arabs in Brazil, serves Arab food, and it's the second largest fast food chain in the country. The textile industry in Brazil is booming with the aid of Syrian and Lebanese migrants. Muhammad Murad, a Muslim lawyer, was actually designated as the official counselor of the Sao Paulo City Council. That's not all. There are just three Portuguese translations of Holy Quran in the world, and two of them were completed and authorized by Muslim translators in Sao Paulo. Safe to say, Islam may be a minority religion in Brazil, but its influence is larger than the majority's work. Muhammad Saifi, president of the Center of Divulgation of Islam to Latin America stated, when I immigrated to Brazil, I realized that Brazilian Muslims didn't know much about Islam and lacked adequate knowledge to practice it. Muslim women refrained from wearing headscarves outside. Continuing, he says, Today, this situation has completely changed. Brazilian Muslims practice their religion more accurately. Cultural assimilation has almost halted. The number of Christians converting to Islam is growing significantly. All these developments inspire hope about the future of Muslims in Brazil. There are reports that many native Brazilians are choosing to convert to Islam, and recently, a source estimated that there are over 10,000 Brazilians that have officially testified to Islam. Now more than 80% of Muslims in Brazil are white, 12% are mixed, and 4% are black. Ramadan in Brazil is a tougher time for the Muslims, as the country objects to negotiating a middle ground for the change in routines and prayer times. But the community has stuck together and united to help each other as much as they can. Ayad Abu Harb, Syrian refugee and a shawarma restaurant owner in Brazil, opens up his shop all day during the holy month. He says, everyone is human and we remember them during this time. When we fast, we remember the homeless people in Syria 
and the less fortunate in Brazil. Imam Sayyid Bilal calls the prayer in Mesquita, Brazil, the oldest mosque in Brazil and one of the oldest mosques in South America. He says, Islam being such a minority religion in Brazil, there are obvious challenges during fasting and Ramadan. But overall, Brazilian people understand differences in cultures, and Muslims here get every right they deserve. It's just a matter of time until Islam in Brazil becomes one of its majority religions. May Allah protect the Muslims in Brazil. Amin.